Issa 15 from Dade's Entertainment Basketball. Today I'm gonna show you one of my signature combos, the bus side eye kick combo. I named this combo after a kata from Shotogan Karate, and the word stands for penetrate a fortress. So when you go at it, you want to um, do this combo with the proper aggression and power. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That's the combo, and I will show you step by step how to do it. Nothing too much complicated, as a matter of fact. It might, it might seem uh, somehow advanced, but once you need the coordination to properly do it, you will breeze through it like it's nothing. I can guarantee you. Uh, and also, it will look pretty dope, I think. So, commit to learn it perfectly and practice it, and you will see the results. First thing first, you want to develop the uh, proper flexibility in the muscle on the back of your thigh and in your hip joint in order to operate on a wide range of motion on these kicks. So go on Google and search for some dynamic and static stretching routines in order to develop the proper flexibility and this will help you also to lower the risk to injure yourself while attempting this stuff. And you also want to uh, improve the strength in your hip flexors muscle so you can control better the kick on its way up and on its way down. First step for the combo is this. You basically want to go kick from the inside out and make the leg go all the way over the ball like this like this like this and when the leg has gone past the ball you want to, to pop the ball up just a little bit okay so boom after that you will add a little touch on top of the ball while it is on its way up make it go down and control the bounce you want it to bounce just in front of you not to go on the left, not on the right, not too far away in front of you, just here, like this. That was step one, let's see it together again, boom, boom. After this, you want to go for step two that adds this kick. This time you will kick from the outside in and kick in your left hand with your right foot. By the end, I'm right-handed, so it might be the opposite if you're left-handed instead. Basically, step two is like this. After you make the ball bounce, just kick from the outside to the inside. Go all the way over the ball again and kick your left hand with your right foot. Well, don't focus too much on the kick. Uh, the kick will come with practice. What you want to focus on is the position of the ball. Make the ball bounce always between your chest and hip. It will bounce at a height that will allow you to go for step three. That is smashing the ground with your hand and the ball together. Actually, you want to give the illusion to go as powerful as you can. While it is true for smashing the ground, but not as powerful as you can, or you will hurt your hand instead. Uh, you, will, you will only give a little touch on the ball while it is on its way up. Make it go down and control the ball. What I mean is, after the kick, bam. as you can see, I'm not putting too much strength on the ball itself. I'm focusing on keeping the ball always in control and in an area uh, where I can control it after the combo. Uh, what I'm focusing on also is smashing the ground and giving the illusion the ball pops up when I touch the ground. Just touch the ball in order to control its way down and keep it in front of you and at a harm reach. Like this. Okay? So step one, step two, and step three together. Like this. 
boom. And as you can see, the ball always bounces at his height. So basically, always at chest height or at his lowest point, as high as your hip joint. So you can always control easily. After this uh, combo is performed, the uh, ball is high uh, as it should be. You can go powerfully between your legs or behind the back. You can perform anything you wanted. And the possibility, uh, as always, are infinite. So another time, from another angle, the move will look like this. So that was basically it, a bad side eye kick combo. Uh, thank you Snake for giving me the opportunity to make this tutorial. Uh, you know, I'm just a little more than a rookie, so I am not that confident teaching the others, but I hope the viewers enjoyed it. Uh, and if you actually enjoyed, uh, click on the uh, thumbs up button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more from Snake and other freestylers all around the world and uh, until next time keep the flow going peace